the question that I'm asking myself today is a question that I know most of us are asking ourselves. What is Lord Mayor Lukwago exactly suffering from? For some time now, Kampala City Lord Mayor Salong Arias Lukwago has been in and out of hospital with deadly complications, sometimes requiring him to fly out of the country for specialized medication. Last year, the Forum for Democratic Change, FDC New Convert, was forced to cut short his re-election campaigns after he felt uneasy and subsequently flew out to Nairobi, Kenya, where he was admitted for a number of weeks. On return, although he had been advised to take some months rest, the situation did not permit him. Thus, re-embarking on his tiresome campaigns. Subsequently, he was re-elected. Congratulations to him. To those close to the politician have intimated to us that glaring signs of fatigue and poor health have been showing on Lukwago ever since he returned from Nairobi. Last week, however, he was evacuated after fainting in the middle of the requiem mass for the fallen archbishop dr cyprian chizito luanga at cathedral in rubaga may his soul rest in peace it has now been established that the mayor has been rushed back to nairobi after a reoccurrence of the same discomfort despite his prolonged period of in and outside patient medication Deputy Lord Mayor during Nyanjira said that despite visiting a number of first-class health facilities in the country, Lukwago's health kept deteriorating, prompting medics to refer him back to Nairobi Hospital. Following a recurring dizziness, persistent abdominal discomfort, and severe chest pain, despite attending several medical facilities in Kampala, including Lubaga Hospital, Platinum Hospital, KS Hospital, Novik Hospital, among others. The Lord Mayor was referred to Nairobi Hospital for further management. Nyanjira said in a statement posted on her social media page, she added that the Lord Mayor had traveled to Nairobi earlier this week, arrived safely, and was checked into Nairobi Hospital. She also said that Lukwago was feeling out of danger and was positively responding to treatment. In her first statement, she said, I spoke to the Lord Mayor today morning. He is stable and undergoing numerous tests. Talking about the poisoning allegations that are being talked about, for some time now, worries among opposition leaders getting poisoned have been gaining traction every other day. Former Machindia West MP Haj Hussein Nyanjo is one example that amplified the concerns. The veteran legislature has had to spend most of his time in previous seven years in foreign hospitals after reportedly being poisoned for his antagonistic views to the ruling regime. As a result, Nyanjo, who was narrowly survived death, has had to speak only with the help of an electric rechargeable gadget implanted in his head and chest. Early last year, former Kamili District Chairperson Proskovia Salam Mosumba revealed she had spent the previous two years getting treatment in local and foreign hospitals. This followed her hair gradually beginning to fall off her head until there was completely none left. She told White Dog News that the poison fears were a reality especially for opposition activists and warned his fellow leaders in opposition to keep visiting health facilities for routine checkups. Musumba said poison 
points were widely distributed around the country and named the cafe at parliament as one of them. She also said members of the ruling National Resistance Movement Party should neither relax there had been instances where their fellow members have been victims. This is a message. Lukwago has however not yet come out to accuse anyone, be it in the state of being behind his ailing health. God bless you. This will for now be reason to feel relieved for his supporters, for him reports of a possible poisoning have been a really deserving allegation. Lukwago has however not yet come out to accuse anyone, be it in the state of being behind his ailing health. This will for now be reason to feel relieved for his supporters, for him reports of a possible poisoning have been a really deserving brother. Thank you for watching this video. For more of our news, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bantu Television. Thank you so much.